Hi, my name is Danielle Sesnick. I'm a principal dancer with Ballet Tucson and I'm a teacher at the School of Ballet Tucson. I've danced with Ballet Tucson for six seasons and this upcoming season will be my seventh. I've been teaching at the School of Ballet Tucson for three years. I started dancing because my older sisters dance, um, so I just wanted to be like them. So I grew up on the East Coast. I um, trained with Andrea Duffin at South Jersey Ballet Theater. When I was 17, I decided to study ballet a little more seriously, and I uh, trained at the School of Pennsylvania Ballet, where I was introduced to the style of George Balanchine and his um, beautiful ballets, and it really inspired me. I ended up auditioning for Indiana University's uh, collegiate dance program. So I went to IU for three years, um, graduated, and then I moved out here. Teaching is really fun. It's really rewarding when you are able to have a student master a step that maybe they didn't think was possible for them to achieve. And to be a part of that is really gratifying and rewarding. It's been really fun to get back down to the basics and really focus on technique and artistry and musicality with the kids here. I think it's really important for um, our students to see the end goal. I think if they really have the dream and the perseverance and uh, the dedication, it's a really great example for them to see what's possible. For the company as well, it's a good reminder of uh, what your roots are and how much time and hard work and everything that compiled to make you a professional, it's a good reminder. For the kids to see us doing repertoire that other major U.S. companies are doing is a really big deal. I, the repertoire kind of is the driving force for not just the dancers, but our audiences as well. Studying ballet, it teaches you discipline. It teaches you strength, not just physically, but mentally. Time management, uh, it teaches you how to work with others, how to be respectful. You know, so many people say our job is so physical. I think it's actually more mental than physical. Students of ballet, whether they're young or adults, will learn so much about mental perseverance and mental strength in ballet.